thanks for joining me each week. This is our third week. This is our journey, our coaching journey, myself and my brother, my coach, and now my my mentee for this journey, Skip LaCour. Uh, this is how you can write and publish your book, even if you're an intensely busy professional like ourselves. And we're having a great time. Our first week, we did some intros. Last week, we had an assignment uh, for Skip. This week, we have a new assignment, uh, which we'll go over. Uh, before I bring Skip uh, into the call here, I want to talk about, we talk about who. Now, who is our reader, but also who are our coaches? Uh, I love this theme of coaching. So our success coaches, you've heard Tony Robbins say, success leaves clues. Well, I'll tell you one great success coach whom I followed is uh, the author of this book, a bestseller book. It's called Publish, The Proven Path from Blank Page to Published Author. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna share my screen again, folks, and you'll see it at least uh, what the cover might look like. Um, I think you'll see it shortly right there. Okay. And this is what the cover of that book by Chandler Bolt, inspirational author, young gentleman, and he's quite a story. He's written multiple bestsellers. And honestly, this is the book that I found very helpful as a step-by-step -step guide to, uh, to really guide this journey with, with Skip and myself. Another success coach uh, who I, I sought out um, was this gentleman, Scott Allen. He's a best-selling author. He came out with a new book recently. It's a number one bestseller called Empower Your Thoughts. Uh, an incredible, incredible gentleman, uh, very successful author and, and, an, and an amazing coach. Um, so uh, again, uh, working through this uh, self-publishing school or Chandler Bolt's uh, program, uh, Scott Allen, whom I met, was able to help me get one of my books to uh, that elusive orange ribbon uh, bestseller status. Um, and then, you know, I, I think Skip can mention a little bit more. One of his coaches, or at least someone he's been uh, picking uh, their uh, sort of success tips. Uh, this gentleman, Scott Adams, you might know him as um, oh, pretty much a world-renowned uh, cartoonist and also uh, a best-selling author in his own right. Uh, this book actually came out this month. Um, uh, that's something that, again, success leaves clues. We, we're, we open ourselves to great success when we find and model people who are getting the results that we desire. Um, so before I bring Skip on, I want to let you know that one of my um, great mentors in acting, <laughs> I am trying to uh, hone my skills as an actor. Uh, he asked me um, to help him and coach him in writing a book. This is the legendary Wayne Ward, and we are writing a book together. Uh, he's the sole author. I'm not taking any credit, not making any money off of this at all. But uh, this is something that uh, a working book title, Beyond Technique, a practical handbook for actors, Believe, Become, Be, Wayne Ward. And for those of you, if you just Google this guy, um, he's uh, he's been on Hawaii Five O, the original Hawaii Five O, uh, the Magnum PI original, even the new Magnum PI. And he's the premier acting coach here in Hawaii, uh, just a phenomenal teacher and coach. And again, um, working with him, he sought me out to uh, help him with this. And uh, this is the book that we're working on, and it's almost done. So um, I'm going to bring Skip on. Again, I, I just wanted to uh, reiterate this uh, process of, of coaching, and I want this to be something that, as you're listening and watching, that you can apply in your own life and think, well, yeah, I'm busy. Whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is you're passionate about in your life, your professional life, your personal life, you have a book inside of you. Skip says this, you have music inside of you that just wants to come out. Don't not share that with the world. So I'm gonna bring Skip on um, in about two seconds here, but this is something that uh, I'm really excited about for this next few weeks is the nuts and bolts, is getting into the execution, the action of getting this book written. And then at that point, once it's written, then we just hone it, edit it down, and then it's it's ready to go. So without further ado, I'm going to bring my brother, my uh, my coach, and now my mentee, Skip LaCour. Skip, are you there, sir? Let's see. In three seconds, let's see. There's my I guy. Am. I What's am. Up? How you doing, sir? I am awesome. How are you doing, Mel? 
I'm doing awesome too, sir. Got a lot of things going on. You're so inspiring. (laughs) (laughs) Always moving. Actor, writer, coach, doctor, (laughs) businessman. Well, right back at you, sir. So uh, we both uh, really want to, you know, taste the juice of life and and create value for for those we, we care about. So where are we are? Where are we today? What was the assignment that I, I sent to you over the week, sir? Right. You wanted me to really refine my niche, make me step up and think about it. Right. Hey, I want to uh, just add some things because uh, I like how, you know, you didn't just say, hey, I'm going to take this journey. You, you showed your mentors and you mentioned Scott Adams. And I just want to tell you, he's really refined my thinking. He does a Periscope um, uh, on Twitter, Periscope every single morning at 7 a.m., Pacific time, I mean, just a brilliant, intelligent man about influence persuasion. When we write these books, we have these thoughts, these ideas. There's a writing is persuasion. So I encourage everybody to watch his periscopes uh, every single day. And that's uh, at Scott Adams says. Uh, the other thing is, uh, if you go to his YouTube channel, uh, he has it's about 22 minutes. And it's a video that says the day you became a better writer. And he took this business course and he's really good at uh, simplifying and getting the meat out of it. And, you know, I I got the audio for this. Uh, The day you became a better writer. He gives you the nuts and bolts. It's not just for writing books. uh, It's for writing blogs. Uh, Mel, I've listened to this audio recording at least 300 times over the last couple of years. And it's really Mm -hmm. gives you that instant confidence and instant strategy to be effective. All right. And uh, and then also, you know, when we talk about this niche, the title is important. And because uh, branding influence persuasion is, uh, you know, uh, just what he's he's just so amazing at. And uh, is that he helped me uh, uh, just through Twitter. You know, I I have never met him personally. He's very generous with his time. So I don't want to say like we're we're best friends, although I feel him as best friends. And he, he helped me create the title for this book going back and forth. Again, he's so generous with time. Uh, just like you, know, you gave Chandler uh, for what he's instilled, what you're going to teach. I want to I want to give everybody those resources and buy his books uh, too. You can't go wrong. You'll learn more, not just about writing, influence, persuasion, about life. They're probably some of the best personal development books, uh, strangely enough. And he's got, like I said, a bestseller out uh, right now called Loser Think. And uh, it's just amazing. My wife and I are just going right through it. So, I, you know, I, I want to pass along just like you, uh, how I benefit to get to this point. That's awesome. Thanks so much, Skip. And I, I'm going to add that in, as you can see on the screen. Um, let me know if this is uh, coming through. Is that at Scott Adams says, is that uh, Twitter or is that the Periscope? Or yeah, they're both connected. Yes. Okay. Yeah. When you get one, you go to the other at Scott Adams says, yes. Okay, great. And I think uh, like Skip said, um, let me give you a quick share screen here. Um, just indulge me for a second here. Skip, I'm going to see if this is the one. This one, loser think. Yes. yes. Okay, there when, it is. When do, uh, uh, yes, so I see it there. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, All yeah. Bestsellers. These are New York Times bestsellers too, I think. <laughs> Not just Amazon, but a lot of, you know, a lot of people have benefited from from these books here. And I want to so, I I I I I I talk to you when you take off that screen. Yeah, I want to talk about another book. That is very helpful. Yeah. So uh, really what kind of got me really uh, in my particular niche that we're going to talk about is this book. And it's just an amazing book. I mean, whatever your passion is, just your thinking. It's uh, how to fail at almost everything and still win big or how to fail uh, at almost anything and still win big. That book is amazing. So can't read it. Get enough of Scott Adams. (laughs) I'm going to put that on the screen too. And, and you know, all, Mel, you know, all the mentors who I've, I've had over the years, right? And I'm talking this highly. You guys, yeah. you know, uh, if you admire what I do and, and I've, I have some credibility, uh, you want to check those that resource out. All right. <laughs> I'm going to put that one more time by Scott Adams. Let me see. Uh, just so people can, can really see that. How to Fail at Almost Anything and Still Win Big. Get that book, Scott Adams. Awesome. Thank you so much, Skip. Okay, folks. So, Skip, tell me uh, what your assignment, like you said, re- refresh, and then let's go right into it. Right. Okay. So it's it's uh, refining the niche, right? Who am I speaking to? Who am I going to pierce the imagination? And who am I going to uh, provide value to? Right. And uh, you know, the niche is, 
you know, I, I learned, you know, through business and being online, uh, you know, Mel, I've been doing this. I've been online before there was online, right. <laughs> you know, for all this time and then uh, unintentionally just, you know, put my information out there. And especially now with this really competitive world, you know, just, uh, you know, really uh, fighting for attention. It's the number one commodity. You know, it's kind of just the opposite. You don't try to help everybody in a broad spectrum or you're going to be ineffective. You got to narrow it down to just one particular group. Right. And when I did that, it really gave me a resurgence. I mean, when we met way back when I was the world's best known drug free bodybuilder. Right. Well, now I've evolved to another uh, reinvention of myself because I'm targeting older men, uh, but just not older men and it, not just men, not just older men. It's older men with busy, productive lives and it's older men, busy, productive lives who want fitness and a whole lot more. Uh, and so when I started, when I refined it down to that particular niche, everything changed. I mean, it became so easy because that's what I'm going through. That's my experience. And so instead of, you know, just fitness for men, women, young and old, I got to really pierce the soul and really make that connection. All right. Now, the, the type of and again, so the, this book is an extension just for them. But so how I how I, I phrased it for older men, not just interested in fitness. Right. I, I've, I've decided to even niche it down more. Right. I used to because uh, there's men who have been you know training 15, 20 years and, and they're older. Right. Now, that's a whole different group. Right. And, and basically, you know, they have a level of success. They already look better than most. They've been doing it for a long time. Whether they've been doing it the most efficiently or consistently, it doesn't matter. You do anything uh, for that amount of time, you're going to be better than most. Now, the strategies that I share are it's the most effective and efficient with your willpower, focus, energy, and time. Right? Not just to make it a game and an adventure and, and get deeper and deeper and deeper. It's like your hobby or it's your therapy. See, a lot of times a guy who's been training for 15, 20 years, he doesn't really want to be more efficient. He, he likes what he's doing to penetrate uh, their thinking uh, to benefit from me most. That's a job. All right. Uh, and I just don't think I could. They're doing fine. I could. Sir, I could help anybody, man, woman, child, young or old. Right. Uh, but you talk about that niche, the language, uh, the stories, the metaphors, they all change. The examples that you use to create that clarity, it all changes. If I'm talking to an older man who's been training for 20 years and he's kind of got it, he's just looking for that, I don't know, next level tip versus the man who's been training for three years or less. He's got a busy life. He doesn't He doesn't want to get this at 60. He doesn't want to go through that process. He doesn't want to overdo it, right? His mind, right, he's a, he's good at what he does. He He's usually by 50-something years old. He mentors guys, you know, the young guys that think they know how to do it, and there's that whole nuance. He's a master at what he does. So when he comes to fitness, he's he's knows in my presence, he's with the master and he's just more susceptible to just follow the directions, not overcomplicate it like a lot of fitness from the younger guys. Right. Not debating over it. And I don't have to uh, penetrate his old ways of doing it and beliefs and things like that. And I just think I can serve him best because that's the life that I live now. All right. I love fitness here. I'm at 57 years old. I, I love training. I enjoy the process, but I, I don't want to waste doing extra stuff. I, I got other puzzles, my family, my business, my legacy. Right. I don't want to use that brain power uh, debating over, you know, sets and reps and different diets. I, I want to use it um, differently. So it's an older man, busy, productive, I, a reference of success. Right. Just wants the results. He could care less about the process. And he wants it simplified, okay? And 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 that's the guy who I want. Now, in the, in the past, I would help guys who used to do it in a more complicated manner. Maybe, Mel, remember we used to do that in the 90s, late 90s, right? And it was so complex, stopping eating eight times a day, pre, post, workout, all that stuff that doesn't matter, <laughs> all right? That science has proved doesn't matter, just feels real good. I would kind of invite them in because they, because they used to do it that way, and now, now they're in their 50s, they got responsibilities, and they're not getting into their fitness because that system, it's not doable at this age. But they think that's the only way to do it, right? And so I'm here to say, look, I know you did it that way. I taught you that way. I did it that way. It feels great. But if you want to incorporate it in your busy, productive life now, there's a better way to do it that's more efficient. It isn't as time-consuming, and you'll get the results. 
So those are the two groups, but I'm thinking about even narrowing it down. Like, you know, those guys, you know, the guys did it 15, 20 years ago with us, that old way. It, it won't be directed at them. So it's just piercing right at the soul. That guy three years and under, he's doing it for the first time in this area of his life, right? Because that's a different audience. It, it's a more niche niche, but I can make that connection even more efficiently. That book will talk straight to him. It eliminates a lot of people who are men, who are older, who are into fitness, but it will just pierce the soul of that one niche. So that, that is unbelievable. I, uh, I'm glad we recorded this because uh -huh. I don't think I have ever heard or will likely ever read about something so defined and so comprehensive and detailed. That That is awesome, Skip. In fact, I think what's great about it is I think of, uh, of you back in the 2000s when you did all those things that you did every calorie, every meal, every two mm -hmm. hours to win multiple championships and drug free natural bodybuilding. You did all those things. And now this book, you're going to be speaking straight to the heart of that guy back in 2000 who was doing, is there a better way? And that's just bodybuilding, but we can even apply that to, to other things in life um, that are important. So uh, really great, Skip. And thank you. Hey, for, and actually, you know, again, getting back, I mean, I can't speak highly enough of that book, uh, How to Fail in Almost Anything and Still Win Big. It was it inspired me to go in this direction to define this niche because he talks about systems uh, that are effective. They don't have to be the best, but give you the results. All right. So a lot of, you know, like I said, a lot of this influence, <laughs> that's a great book. And, and it, you can apply it to any area of, of life. Too, so. awesome. awesome. Well, look, you know, I uh, the last video got well over 12,000 views, uh, 13,000 views. And I think a lot of it had to do with just the hard hitting information that you're sharing and, and this interaction. Again, I'm just guiding you. I, I will give you my best resources that I have. And, and Skip, you likewise will share to our, our listeners. And I, I invite all of you really listen to how passionate Skip is about his vision and who his reader is and make it in your head, who, who do you need to speak with? Who do you feel uh, a passion towards helping or creating value or just leaving a legacy? Or what passion project do you have or what really makes you happy um, when you talk about it or you feel so connected to? So uh, thank you, Skip, for telling us your who and the niche. And you know, I, I think for next week, again, this will be sort of a short call um, because I want to get to uh, really preparing for the next step, which is the the execution. This is all important, but I do think the the ink and paper, the getting it down, so that we have something that will you know will resemble and then ultimately be that final product. Do you have uh, any other comments, Skip, or any any challenge of over the past two weeks, or do you feel like you know I watch your videos on Facebook and I see uh -huh. uh, on YouTube all that you're still cranking it? What's what's happening in general? And, uh, yeah, no, no it, it's great. I mean, this has forced me to think more about it. You know, this our coaching every single week, and then it's always marinating all week. Like I know I'm going to have my coaching session with with Mel, and it's making it more and more refined. One other thing, though, um, it, it sounds like I'm so clear on this niche uh, that took a lot of testing, right? So, you know, uh, you can come in with the best idea in the world, right? Uh, I would just you know, Mel, you knew me. I, I hit that niche as the drug free motivational bodybuilder. That was just through passion. That just, it just, it wasn't planned out. Um, it wasn't as competitive. It just landed upon it and it was, it helped me be known internationally. All right. This, the, I, I've probably tested, and, and if you really think about from the, uh, what I've done, from man formation, uh, the personal development to the buff dad he never had, to the mass machine. I have tried many niches in the, since I retired in the last 16 years. Uh, I had a lot of coaching about niche work and thinking and testing. All right. So, you know, I would say, you know, don't get married uh, to an idea. You're, it's going to take testing. You're going to have to get a response. It, I, I think that 50% is you, what you naturally want to put out there. But the world will tell you if that's the right niche. Don't be stubborn and just go out there and try to ram it down them. You test it and they will tell you if you're on the right track. You know, I sound so certain, but I had a lot of testing that got me to this niche. So it's, it, I just think that's important. So they have to think, well, I'm not as clear as him. I've been thinking about this a whole week, right? May take a little bit longer with that, right? But the best things 
there's a little bit of work to it, right? <laughs> That's right. Oh, great advice, Skip. And again, I, I love what, how you, everything you say and the way you are, it's uh, success leaves clues. And you, and that's one thing that uh, Tony Robbins says is don't, you got to be flexible in your approach mm -hmm. uh, to achieve maximum or your achieve success and fulfillment in your life. When you're stuck in one way, you have to think beyond that sometimes. And I, I think that's awesome. So Skip, any other parting words, sir, before I get you up to a- Hey, a family time I, I appreciate the push. I push you, I appreciate you uh, making me accountable. I'm the product of the product. I believe in coaching, so I'm getting coaching. I, I, I appreciate you, Mel. My family appreciates, my destiny. Uh, the men who I'm gonna serve appreciate what you're doing for me. So thank you so well, much. You're welcome, um, and I appreciate you, sir. You have a great rest of the day and tune in next time and skip i'll send you your uh, i'll text you or, or send you via messenger your next uh task for next week okay awesome thank you so much see you next time you're welcome brother bye wow all right everyone i'm going to wrap this up um it's been about 20 minutes thanks again for for joining us every week uh, i i'm telling you this is going to be an amazing journey not just for for Skip, as he said, but really for me as well. And I, I'll share um, uh, my progress as well as we go along, but I, I want you to let his words and his experience uh, really marinate. Uh, check out those books, uh, particularly one by Scott Adams, How to Fail at Almost Anything and Still Win Big. Uh, it looks like that was a very good resource, a go-to for, for Skip. Um, so check that out and uh, have a wonderful week, everyone.